Everybody welcome back to our Halloween Ends video. In today's Ends video is uh I guess you guessed it, the final reckoning. Uh new Halloween Ends Futurati I wanna say that word. Jesus Lori's final reckoning with Michael Myers. And god damn it, the other thing that I saw. Uh, can you work please? I'm trying to do a video. Well, whatever. It shows, uh, new footage, like, um, or, or he's holding that, like, you know, that knife you can see in the trailers or TV spots. And, uh, hmm. you can see more of that footage where Michael throws her across the kitchen counter I guess and Alistair has a boyfriend obviously everyone know that knew that which and uh Corey I guess does most of the killing and I guess Corey dies in the movie too which is and he's supposed to copycat kill her which makes no goddamn sense but I wonder how this movie is gonna hold up with the whole thing it's probably gonna be like Halloween 2018, where it's like uh, 40 years later. It yeah, has that like whole concept of what's been going on with Lori, where she been, and what her um, granddaughter and daughter. It's like that whole chill vibe, if you know what I mean. <coughs> it's probably gonna be something like that. And Allison goes on a date, but we'll get to Michael Myers. I know a lot of people want to see uh, more stalking, like they did in 2018, and the original too. But to be honest, in my opinion, this is the best trilogy or trilogy in an entire series. Well, I like the other previous sequels too, like Halloween one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Resurrection. Oh God, no. Halloween um, Rob Zombie. Halloween Rob Zombie too. If they would just get rid of that nasty Hobo Myers, I'll be fine with that. And then, you, like a lot of people do not like it, like um, kills. I don't know why. It's a good slasher film. It's a really good slasher film, in my opinion. I don't know why a lot of people don't like it. But, it's everyone else's opinion, so, but, yeah, I guess. So, here it is. That's the show's uh, previous, like, There's this one where Lori is saying, um, if you came to kill me, come and do it. No. Okay. And then we get, uh, this one. I don't know what you would call this one. Maybe she's in a hospital or something. Do you see more of this footage or worse? So. And, like, it's more of that. And this is what I'm talking about, where she holds up the knife. And this other scene, I don't know if she knocks his mask off or whatever. But I guess it's like kills. Yeah, it's like the original. And this one too. I noticed it's been seen in many TV spots. Yeah, transitions from... Halloween Kills, Halloween 2018, the last one. And I guess it just pops up with Halloween Kills 2018, but not no more footage. Uh, oh, wait. This, this could be Michael's hand or someone else's hand, who knows. And whatever this scene is, I guess she is. I don't know what you call it. 
in my opinion, I think this is the part where she stabs Michael in the face. I, I don't know. But. That's what I mean right here. She has this all bloodied up. So I'm guessing Michael does die in the movie, which I'm not truly sad about. But at least she goes down with a cool ending, I guess. Not not like forever, but you get my point. But um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed uh, me talking about Halloween, the final reckoning, and um, how what. How would, um, because um, Jamie Lee Curtis said, um, how many ends will anger fans, I guess, with Michael Myers or Lord Strode dying, but at least we'll get to see Michael Myers in a little bit, like a couple years down from the road. A lot of people keep saying, um, how many ends is the final, um, film in the entire franchise or series, which is bullshit, because everyone wants to see more Michael Myers, but they want to see this saga end between Michael Myers and where it should, obviously, but, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed, I'll see y'all.